So this is Ape Escape. I'm going to be doing a tutorial of the any percent tuto of the any percent route. So at the beginning here, it's going to play cutscenes, and you're just going to spam the X and O buttons to get past them. That's pretty self-explanatory if you've played this game before. So I, in some areas, I will be explaining multiple strats. Uh, some areas it won't be. So this is the first level, Fossil Field. I wait in the cutscene because it makes there be a better chance that the first monkey, uh, the guy that's currently looking at me and closest to me, has a higher chance of being closer to Spike's spawn point. So what you're going to do at the beginning here is you're going to immediately run towards this monkey. And you can jump slight in front of him and catch him. Now that you've caught him, you're going to immediately turn to the right and change the camera using L1 to put it behind you so you can catch the second monkey on the boulder. He will jump off the boulder 100% of the time, so you can be sure of that. Jump and catch. Now you're going to immediately turn to the left and then run towards the steps. Now the third monkey can do a lot of stuff. He can jump wherever he wants, so you really just have to play it by ear on the third monkey. So, I got pretty good luck. Oh, never mind. <laughs> and you can just play it by ear on that monkey, just pretty much chase him. It's the first level, it doesn't really matter. An average time for somebody with a, with a time of around 57 minutes, which I'd say is about average for most people is about a 21 or a 22 would be about average. Now here, you're going to run into this mailbox and you're going to press start to skip it, not X. And then you'll just jump onto the button to enter the next level. Now in this, you're going to have to... A faster way to do this, it'll always start on this one, and then a few frames later, it'll start moving towards the next level. Now you're going to press right and then X so that to give you the highest chance of not re-entering the level. Spam X to do the cutscene. Now here, you're going to run diagonal, and you can either jump or fall into the water, just whatever you do, don't double jump, because that will lose time. You're going to go slightly up, double jump over this fence, dive down, come back up, and go up. Now here, there's two things you can do. You can either go a little bit more off to the right, and then you can just turn left and single jump onto the thing, which is faster but a little bit harder. And if you mess it up, then you'll ledge grab and then you'll lose time. Or you can just do the safe strat, double jump up. Here you can single jump or not jump and just catch that monkey. Very simple, using R3 to catch that monkey. Go to the surface, single jump out. You have to be a good distance away from the thing to single jump out. And then go a little bit off to the right to avoid getting that mailbox. Spam X to skip this cutscene. Spam X to skip this one. Now here, you are going to... Actually, let me real quick change some settings so that you can see my mouse cursor so I can point out some stuff. So here... So on this level... Actually, let me fix it out of this. Yes. Alright, so here you're going to run towards this point on the bridge. Yeah, this is tutorial day, I guess, Batman. So you're going to run towards this point on the bridge, the high point, and then you're going to single jump or neutral double jump off. And if you do a normal double jump, it will not work very well and you'll lose time. Pretty much just learn the neutral double jump. I'll give a tutorial of that in a little bit and highlight that later and catch this monkey. You have to do it before he jumps. If he jumps, you're pretty much screwed and the route is screwed up. So, I'm gonna do that. Run over to this point, single jump, and then you can swing the net around there. Now, immediately turn around, and you're gonna... There's a lot of things here you can do. You can turn around and run along the, the land. No matter what, switch the camera. I just single jump into the water, and now hold up on the D-pad, jump here, neutral jump over to here, and catch this monkey. 
Now, cancel the net, fall down, and catch that monkey. Now, I'm going to go back real quick to show you where to fall for that monkey that I fell on. So, you would catch this monkey, alright, and you'll have the camera up here. Now, you're going to want to fall on this. This whole area is a hexagon. So, it has eight sides, I think, right? Yeah, eight sides. So, there's the top right there. That's not the one you want to jump on. You want to jump off of this one, alright? You want to jump more towards the right side of this one. Well, not jump, but fall, and swing your net that way. Now, you're going to go over here, jump around here, double jump, and then ground pound. Now, my timing was off because I did the whole thing showing you uh, that. But if you don't want to do that, there is an alternate, there is an alternate uh, route. You can just jump up here. This is called the slope jump route. Ledge grab, and then catch him. And that would be the end of the route, no matter what. <clears throat> oh, Popman, I have the mouse turned on so that I can point out things. Just in case I need to point to a certain area. Spam X and O to skip the cutscene. Now, for here, you're always just going to run straight. And jump around there, onto the button. Now, try to do a quick jump so that you don't get as much height and so you get more distance. That'll maintain your forward momentum more. Now, here, you're not gonna run directly straight at the beginning, you're gonna run straight and barely left so that you don't touch the mailbox, and then you're gonna turn right, like that. And neutral double jump up here, neutral double jump from in between those two things. Now this monkey sucks. He is all RNG, no matter how good you, good you are at this game, you, this monkey is not 100% consistent. So, one thing he can do is see you around there. If he sees you around there, there's about a 75% chance that you're just going to get him pretty much no matter what, immediately. If he would have seen me earlier, then you want to hang to the right of this room and then turn to the left sharply to catch him. Now, I'm just going to go and catch him like that. Now, immediately start going over here because there is a cycling you need to make. Catch him. Now you're going to jump on this elevator, right? Neutral double jump up here, neutral double jump, neutral double jump, switch to the stun club. Now, for this egg monkey, there are a few things you can do. I'm going to do the safest way to do it, but uh, I can also demonstrate the fastest way to do it, which is barely faster, slightly less consistent, but the safest way is to do a ground pound to an egg bounce. Now, the egg bounce part is hard, and if you get the egg bounce, <coughs> the ground pound is uh, faster, or just as fast, as the fast method. So, what you're going to do is jump. Now, around here, you're going to ground pound, alright? And then once, immediately once your stun club hits the egg, switch to the net, so that you will, so that you will catch the monkey. Now, spam the triangle button, which is the one that the stun club is on, once you have caught the monkey to have a good chance of switching to the stun club and bouncing off of the eggs so that you don't go through the rest of the animation. So let me see if I can still do this. Alright, so I missed it, but I can show the egg bounce. Okay, so that's what happens when you miss it. Not that big a deal. Now here, for more experienced players who know how to neutral double jump very well, uh, I would jump from the the third stair, but you can also jump from the second stair if you want to be stayed. I'm going to jump from the third stair here, and then you're going to land on that little triangle there, which you can slide off of. You're going to jump from around here and catch this monkey. Overall, very easy level. A little bit inconsistent because of the first monkey and the egg bounce, but not too bad. Compared to the rest of the levels in the game, that is a very easy one.